Hey everybody, welcome to EVE Online. Today we're going to be covering a tutorial on combat scanning. So, what you first need to know about combat scanning, let's check out the ship fitting here, is you need to have an expanded probe launcher and combat scanner probes. As you see, I have both of these items upgraded to faction, sisters, and sisters on both to help the performance of the scan. Usually when you enter a system, you'll hit D-Scan, you'll see what's on D-Scan here, and you'll pop probes because you'll want to track down something to kill. So here we have something on D-Scan, it's within 14 AU, within 10, within 5. I can go ahead and pop probes. So when you have the probe window up, you can see that you can filter what is going to show on the D-Scan results. With this, we're going to be specifically looking for ships, but I guess we can leave deployables set to... Uh, you can click this map button. This is going to bring up the overview. This highlighted blue area is where your probes are, and the box in the middle. This is a lot like regular D-Scanning. So we know that from the D-Scan that we did that it's fairly close into us. Our probe size is currently at 2 AU. We want to increase that out to probably at least 8. And we'll go ahead and get a quick scan and see how close we are to that procure. You'll see on the results that there's a battleship, a mining barge, and another mining barge, all with unscan. The signal strength is 45. By clicking it, you can see on the map there that it'll highlight, it'll highlight over here the items that are picking up. So you can select back and forth between them. We're looking for this specific barge. So say you're scanning two, you can actually, if you're not interested in finding that battleship, you can right click on it and ignore the result so that it doesn't show up on future scans. Same with this, ignore result. Same with that, ignore result because you want this mining barge. Now, what I like to do when I'm moving my boxes is I like to sort it so that I'm looking from a top down view so that I align the top scan first and then I align it that way go ahead and hit a second scan. Should have shrunk that to reduce the signal strength, but you'll see the signal strength go up just by aligning the center point. One up a few percentage. Let's go ahead and just tweak that a little bit. This should get us a localized scan result to be able to warp to it. There we go, we have a completed scan, and you can actually warp to the target now. Warp drive active. We'll cloak up so that he doesn't know that we're there. And there we are, we're on grid with the target. I'm unaware that we are here. We use D scan to find him. Now, what else can you use combat scanning for? You can find ships like this for PvP purposes. You can find MTUs. You can find people's lost drones. So you can have a salvage business just going out and collecting people's drones if you're new to EVE Online. You can use the combat scanner to scan down wormholes. It's not as effective as the regular probes at doing that, but it will do the job in a one-stop shop pvp fit for your ships so that is the basics of combat scanning i hope you liked this video feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like future updates and tutorials on how to improve your eve online gameplay this is just a basic overview of combat scanning and the usefulness that it can be for you and we'll catch you next time